Heart to Heart International entered Haiti after the earthquake of January 2010 to establish a permanent base of operations for its long-standing commitment to deploying volunteers into the most needy areas. BD and Heart to Heart's teams are helping in and around Port-au-Prince, areas near Laogon, Cascade Pichon, Cap Haitian, Jacques Mel, and Bleck. Volunteers are here to help improve conditions and provide critical care to those in need. Our mission? To assist the people of Haiti. Here now we are just starting the training program with the Asian lab technicians. So this was the first day of the training, so it's really exciting because now we can see the result of all the work we've done. What we found out is that even though resources are quite tight, the people here still want to give a good quality service to their customers, which is the patient. How best will it be than getting a right results from a right laboratory? And basically, I'm here to reinforce that statement that uh, we want to help people, uh, all people live healthy lives. The um, participants were so, so happy and so inquisitive and so engaged. So, I mean, it was hot and the days were long and they would stay alert through most of it. Uh, what I've learned with the students here, or the participants, is they're so inquisitive, very intelligent, and they really want to absorb what we're teaching them. The lab here operates a lot differently than labs in the States. Um, there's two techs here that work but do everything manually. In the States this would be done by the automated hematology analyzer, which is uh, much more accurate, much more quick, uh, but much more expensive and requires consistent power, which we don't have here. For have a different experience of my life, for see other reality, other difficulty, and uh, to uh, go out of my comfort of every day. This is a sustainable project where the local community will have access to health care where they don't right now. So as part of the con construction team, we're helping the, the Haitians by providing a long-term um, place for them to get health care. How they're training the Haitians to help themselves. There, there's people here from BD who are helping the lab people the uh, healthcare workers training that's going on. I'm hoping that with us leaving that they'll be able to to see what's going on and be able to do some of these things for themselves. We have our ways of working, they have their ways of working and, and coming down here seeing that they have to make do with what they have and that's why they have a word for it, they call it dégagé. As a communication team, we're here to document how the volunteer works and personally, I just found it fascinating to be here, uh, able to communicate with young people like me, they all have dreams and they try so hard to achieve that. 